Well, it's a Rick and Morty Sunday Monday, and the second episode of the sixth season released, Rick Mortwell Lived, a reference to the in-universe game Roy from Morty Night Run. Let's go through what happened. This episode flips between two different stories, a Rick and Morty story and a summer story, so I'll go through them one at a time to keep things organized, starting with the Rick and Morty side. The episode starts inside the game Roy, with every character actually being Morty, except Roy, who is Rick. Rick Roy is trying to convince everyone in the game that they are in fact in a video game, to which they all believe that Roy is a cult leader. As NPCs, if the game ends in any way, all the parts of Morty will die. The confusion was caused by a power outage at Blips and Chits during a terrorist attack that split Morty into all the NPCs. I should also mention this episode is a diehard reference, which Rick tells Summer to do while he is attempting to rescue the billionths of NPC Mortys, and that time moves faster in Roy than in reality. This is all before the opening theme of the episode. Morty, both as the parents and child of those parents, has an argument with himself kicking Kid Morty out of the house. This Morty NPC is Marta. Rick struggles against the Mortys pretending it's a religion, while Morty convinces himself but his SWAT team to stand down. Later, the idea that all of the NPCs are all Roy's grandson in another world is a full-on religion called Grandsonism and has overtaken the in-game world. Morty struggles to convert all of the Roy NPCs to Grandsonism because some of him knows Rick isn't a good guy or a good grandpa and 8% don't want to do anything that's going to help Rick. When Rick doesn't tell the Mortys he loves them, a worldwide holier war breaks out. Rick and the Mortys end up at odds. Time has passed, the main Morty NPC we've been following gets wiser and realizes they are the only reason left for the rest not to leave. Now for the Summer side of the episode. Again, Summer is attempting to pull a Die Hard. She sneaks around trying to kill the terrorists unknowingly behind an arcade machine called Don't Touch Me, which after accidentally touching, gives away that someone is around. Turns out the terrorists are also doing a Die Hard. Summer kills one of the goons and gets in contact with their leader while they talk about Die Harding. Summer starts pulling a Die Hard but not doing Die Hard and just winging it while yelling Die Hard. The terrorists find the unconscious Rick and Morty. Summer gets caught and held at gunpoint with her having read only the ending of the terrorist leader's book, The Nakatomi Paradigm, referencing the Nakatomi Plaza from Die Hard. So now, Summer is doing a Die Hard and has a gun taped to her back for the ending. The Rick and Mortys escape Roy just in time to take out most of the goons for Summer. Rick knows there's more he's still in Roy, specifically Marta, so he pays to have it constantly run in storage and has changed the game to center on Marta so that part of Morty can keep on living. I think it was a pretty good episode. It did switch between the stories very often, where I actually did have to change this video into an A-side, B-side type. And it was fun to see Morty try to convince himself that he is himself, or to convince himself that they should leave. It was just fun seeing Morty at odds with himself after everything we've seen him go through with Rick. But let me know what you thought about the episode down below, and I'll see you guys next week with another one.